Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. I'm Jason Worley with WC Fab. Today we're covering the LB7 Duramax S300 and S400 single turbo install kit. The LB7 Duramax, 2001 to 2004 model year, considered to be the grandfather of common rail diesel performance. The LB7, released in late 2000, happened to be the first diesel truck that we purchased here at WC Fab that started the business. So it's got a soft spot in our hearts and we still offer quite a few performance upgrades for the LB7 model. On the table in front of us here is specifically for an S400 upgraded turbocharger. We also offer a very similar style kit, just a few components that are slightly different that allow you to install an S300 style turbocharger. If you're rebuilding one of these older trucks or if you've got a higher mileage one, it's not uncommon that the factory IHI turbo is on its way out or time for an upgrade. Looking to make a little bit more horsepower, upgrading to a larger fixed vane style turbo like the IHI, but larger turbine, larger compressor wheel for more airflow is a very common upgrade if you're searching for more horsepower. So how do you decide what kit suits you the best? There's a lot of different turbocharger option for our drop-in style turbochargers, Stealth Line, most popular which is an IHI drop-head replacement. It's gonna work with either all of your factory components or if you've already got some of our upgraded intake accessories and intercooler pipes for the factory style turbocharger, then the IHI drop-in is a great option for you because it works with all those components you might already have. If you're starting with a clean slate and you don't already have a bunch of WC Fab upgrades for the factory style turbocharger and you like the look of this style kit, the turbocharger raised out of the valley, more visible, much larger intake, then that gets you into our 300 and 400 package that we have here. Now the main difference between the S300 and the S400 is essentially the size of the components. They're very similar turbochargers, both fixed vane, both T4 housing, and both journal bearing center section. When you go from an S300 to an S400, everything increases in size. Larger turbine, larger shaft, larger bearings, larger compressor cover, larger compressor wheel, et cetera, et cetera. If you're a drag racer, if you're a truck puller, if you're really working your truck hard and you're not really using your truck for work or for towing anymore, those S400 frame turbochargers are a more common setup. They're not gonna spool as fast or be as friendly to drive as an IHI drop-in or an S300 package because that larger rotating mass takes a little bit more energy to get spooled up. Of course, the larger turbine wheel being the biggest factor. So if you're looking to make big horsepower, drag racer, truck puller, as I mentioned, you're start, if you're trying to shoot over that 700, 750 horsepower range, you're gonna to wanna to look at the S400 style combination, whether it be the 67 or all the way up to a 75 or 80 millimeter. Still use your truck for work, you still tow the toy hauler on the weekends or the boat, and you do not wanna have a laggy setup or deal with a lesser drivability, then the S300 option is the better choice. The S300 option is most similar to that stealth drop-in. Obviously, not a drop-in style turbo. It sits on our T4 pedestal, raised up out of the valley, uses much different plumbing than the factory components. You're gonna experience quicker turbo spool up. Again, more similar to that IHI combination. For most customers that are looking to be anywhere between 550 and 700 horsepower is a good window horsepower goal for the S300 combo. So now that we've discussed the differences between the IHI, the S300 and S400, Let's talk about what comes in the kit and everything needed to install the turbo. First and foremost, it starts out with the turbo pedestal. Once we get that IHI pulled out of the valley, which has the pedestal built into it, you replace that factory turbocharger pedestal with this fabricated unit. That's what your up pipes connect to. Our supplied studs and T4 gasket, that is what your new turbocharger sits on. The exhaust housing connects to that, our supplied stainless steel braided oil line kit, both the drain and feed line, as well as all the necessary fittings, route underneath, back to the normal oil drain location. So once you get that new T4 housing turbo mounted on that pedestal, you will notice when you pop the hood on an S300, S400 style upgrade, that turbocharger is raised up quite a bit more than factory and really pops right there in your face. You can see the turbocharger now. It's not tucked so far down in the valley. So getting that turbocharger raised up out of the valley allows a couple things. It allows us to get our higher flowing three inch Y bridge in there, as well as our very nice high flow intakes. On an S400 upgrade setup, 
the S400 Charger uses a five inch inlet. So we build a five inch aluminum intake to match up to that using on the end of that our five inch dry air filter with the Outerwear's pre-filter cover. These are a water repellent cover and they do a great job of keeping the pleats of the filter clean and extending the service intervals on that dry air filter. If you opt for an S300 package, your intake will look a little bit different. Like shown here, it's a four inch version as the S300 uses a four inch style inlet. So with that larger intake pipe, you do have a very tight clearance to the factory upper coolant pipe that connects to the thermostat housing. That coolant pipe has a port on it that used to feed coolant to the factory turbo. And that port makes direct contact with the intake pipe. Going to the fixed vein S300 or S400, they are not coolant fed like the factory turbocharger is. So that gets eliminated. We have our billet thermostat housing kit relocates that factory coolant pipe so that it's forward facing to the radiator instead of going backwards over the top of the engine, which makes accessibility to the valve covers and anything down in the valley of the engine much better. And they look sweet too, right on top of the engine. The intercooler plumbing on this package, once you've got your intake air, obviously it's coming out compressor discharge on the outlet of your S300 or S400. Notable difference between these two chargers is the S400 frame turbo uses a V-band style outlet. Shown in front of us here is our S400 style two-piece driver side pipe. V-band connection at the turbocharger with V-band clamp and O-ring, a boot in the center, and a boot down at the intercooler. We have to have that boot in the center to allow for play with engine movement and everything else because of the solid connection at the turbocharger. Now, if you opt for the S300 option, it's actually a hose style outlet at the turbocharger using our high quality air mid lined reducer boot. And it's a single one piece intercooler pipe from turbocharger down to intercooler because we don't have that solid V-band connection at the turbocharger. So slight difference between those two pipes. This kit is compatible with the OEM intercooler and any aftermarket intercooler, except for the Banks style cooler. If you're using a Banks cooler, we have a slightly different design for the cold side pipe because the outlet of the intercooler is angled a little bit different than factory. So if you've got a Banks intercooler, you wanna make sure to contact us directly for the proper cold side intercooler pipe. We're replacing the factory intercooler pipe here with a nice three inch mandrel bent pipe, getting rid of that angled boot connection that's at the intercooler and the factory intercooler pipe next down to two and a half inches at the Y bridge, where ours is a full three inch all the way to the bridge. From there, we lead to our high flow three inch Y bridge, one of the largest upgrades on the intercooler track system of the LB7. The factory Y bridge leaves a lot of room for improvement. At the very bottom of the Y bridge is neck down very small because of the high pressure relief valve that sits above the Y bridge. With our install kit, we supply a FPRV reroute kit, which lets you eliminate all of those hard lines that are on top of the factory bridge and allows clearance for our nice high flow billet style Y bridge. The lower half of this bridge is nice CNC machined piece. The bridge has a port for boost sensor and of course your OEM map sensor with a new seal and hold down bracket. The Y bridge comes with the hole not drilled. If you have a 2001 model LB7, your map sensor is on the intake runner. If you have an 02 to 04 LB7, you will drill out the hole in the Y bridge there so that your factory map sensor can read boost. We supply new O-ring seal for the Y bridge to the intake runners. One of the last few items in the installation kit is our turbo downpipe. Whether you're doing S300 or S400 kit, they're very similar. The only minor difference being the size of the exhaust flange at the turbine housing. Both downpipes use a V-band style connection at the bottom, which allows you to connect to your exhaust system just like factory. Heat wrap and hose clamps supplied so that you can heat wrap that downpipe. And lastly, we supply a driver side transmission dipstick tube. One of the issues with installing these upgraded turbochargers on the earlier model Duramaxes is the dipstick tube is on the passenger side and they cause a major clearance issue to that larger downpipe when installing the aftermarket turbochargers. What we supply with the kit is a driver side relocated dipstick that moves it to the other side of the engine and makes it easier to access and easier to install that downpipe. Uh, to round out our single turbo upgrade install kits for the LB7, is obviously our high quality powder coat finish. Like all WC Fab product, 
powder coated here in-house in our state-of-the-art powder coat facility. We take great pride in the finish quality of our product. This kit shown in our very popular gloss black, which is our in-stock, on-the-shelf, quick-to-ship option. If you can wait a little bit longer, we've got 35 other common popular colors to choose from, and for a slight upcharge, you can choose any custom color you'd like. There are several different turbo sizes to pick from. If you're not sure what size turbocharger you need for your truck, you can feel free to reach out to our sales team, leave some comments below, and we'll chat with you about what makes sense for your combination. Whether an S300 or an S400, it all depends on what you're using the truck for and what your performance goal may be, as well as other supporting modifications. Feel free to leave a comment below or reach out to our sales team. We'd be happy to discuss the combination that best suits your needs. Thanks a lot for watching.